Teriva Sharanam Experiences with His Holiness Narrated by R. Santana Raman, Chennai 33 Compiled by T.S. Kodandarama Sharma Incidents that give a poignant feeling Continue Periyavald's Novel Explanation Periya Periyavald used to do Upanyasam at the entrance of Thiru S.S. Natesha Iyer's house 50 years ago. We all would go there and listen to it. This is the news Periyavald said one day. He stayed in Ranchi, Bihar state for two months. He said that in the whole of those two months, he was not able to see the Ranchi Ramakoti Pithadipati since the pontiff had gone on Yatra to other places. Even later on, when the pontiff stayed in Ranchi, he was not able to meet the Kanchi Kamakoti Pithadipati even once. At last, when they met one day, the Ranchi Pithadipati asked Kanchi Pithadipati, Though all these days passed by, why is it that I was not able to meet you? Periyavar said that he replied to the question as Wo Ramaka Kamanahi or Kamaka Ramanahi Quoting a Hindi shloka, Ranchi Ramakoti was taken aback and was happy for Periyavar tactfully quoting a Hindi verse to one whose mother tongue was Hindi and giving it the right meaning that applied to the circumstances. It was not Rama's work. In addition, this is not a Ramakaryam work for Rama. Mahapiryavar said that he thus put a full stop to the talk indicating in Suchakam hint that the Mathatipatis not meeting each other might have some Alpa Karanam trivial reason which need not be tied to any divine act. Periyavald's Friendliness Mahaswamigal's Bhiksha was arranged at the Thorudur landlord's house located on the north bank of the Kamalalayam tank Tiruvarur. But when Periyavad came on foot from the adjacent village and was passing through the Durgalaya road, he suddenly entered the house of T.V. Krishnamurti Iyer, a retired district doctor. Krishnamurti said, Apacharya, when I am here to welcome you, you have come seeking my house on your own. Those things are only for others. You and I are schoolmates. Between us, no such satta dictums, rules and plans, Periyavar said. You come without fail to Thorudurar's house, he added. You start giving free treatment daily to the poor. That itself would be a great puja for you. From that day on, the doctor, until his last days, took up the practice for free treatment to the poor, giving them free medicine, money to buy any medicine from the shop and money for food and bus charge to the poor who came from adjacent places. These acts were witnessed by me and my father. If Periyavar's friend is of such kindness, who can measure the compassion of Periyavar? Several years ago, when Periyavar was staying in Pudukkote, Kunniyur landlord K.S. Sambashiva Iyer stayed there for a few days having darshan of the sage. One day, Periyavar called Sri Sambashiva Iyer and said, You get back home. The field harvest is to take place. Go back and look after your family affairs. To that, Sri Sambashiva Iyer replied, I shall stay here for one day today, watch the puja and then leave. But Periyavar said a little sternly, You go back today itself to Mannargudi. You should not stay here today. Start immediately. So he left for Mannargudi. And in that night, 
Sambashiva Iyer attained Shivaloga Prapti. Shiva's heavenly abode. My father, Perumalagaram PK Rajagopala Iyengar, told me this news. What Dirgadarshanam foresight? Periyavals. Periyavasharanam.